Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant, and in this episode we'll be continuing our playthrough of Arx Fatalis. So, in the last episode we have infiltrated the cultist base, the cultists to Aqua, the ones who also wanted to sacrifice our friend Shaney. Uh, we've killed a couple of priests, uh, I've managed to get some Akba's rock, I don't actually know what they do, but oh well. And we also have a golem's heart, which apparently is one of the keys to the security system. Now last time there was a bit of frustration regarding runes. <laughs> Let's hope this episode isn't as bad. So first of all, I'm gonna try this dispel field, which should clear this force field. So now we have three golems. Oh, but these two already have hearts. Curious. <clears throat> can I open this door? I can. I cannot open this door though. Not even gonna try to lockpick it because my lockpick attempts so far have been pitiful. <laughs> and I don't want to waste any more. Oh, I know what this is. Any more um, tools. <clears throat> so. Brother Glavasias, if you should ever need to switch the security system off, please note that your access code is 113. So, 1. Eh. 1, 3. <clears throat> what? Oh. Okay. Maybe I need the golem's heart in order to activate the lever? <clears throat> so... Like this? Come on. Oh god! Jesus, I got scared. Are you my en my enemy? No, you're my friend. What? What? Uh, I was not expecting this. <clears throat> so maybe I can tell them to break the door? Mr. Golem? <clears throat> what do you do? Um. I'm not fully understanding what the hell is going on here. <clears throat> Can I activate this one? This one I cannot activate. What about this one? Also no. So I have a golem with me. Okay, let's 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 wait a bit here. So I know for a fact this code is correct because of this letter. 113. Switch the security system off. Okay. <clears throat> So maybe now it's off. Um, apparently I have a golem that does my bidding. Or at least follows me around. Mm, this doesn't feel safe. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I see what, where this is going. Come here, you. Come on. You are going to step on the pressure plate. Some coffee. <sighs> so move over here. Okay. Cool. So he stands over there. This opens the gate. Um, 
and maybe this open the door can I call you back no so that was his purpose now did I st I'm still not getting it I, I'm having some ideas, but I gotta try something out first. This is still locked. Now, Brother Pasquale, remember this. The first locks the second. The first locks the second. Is this the first? I'm missing something. What am I missing? Uh. Wait. <clears throat> I'm dumb. Okay, because earlier I got this little metal key which could be for this door God damn it. do you guys do anything hmm okay oh you bitch you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Firewall. Hopefully I can cast this. Wait, why, why can't... Oh! No. Oh. Why does... Oh, I need to be standing up. Oh, okay. I forgot the spell. So. Yeah, so this time I'm casting it well. I don't know what happened the previous times. No, nobody's here. You are seeing things, my friend. No, no, no. Wait, what? Are you friendly? Oh. Are you blind? Yes. It was my personal sacrifice to our great and beloved Akbar. Soon may he reign supreme. Yes. Soon. <laughs> Akbar is our savior. May he be blessed. Through his good work, we shall once again live on the outside. Our children will at last see the sunshine, and we shall play in the newly grown grass. <laughs> it shames the nation that most of them don't believe in Akbar. I understand that people find the human sacrifices a bit scary. But it is the only way to salvation. Pray with me, Brother Shigar. <laughs> you know Akbar needs our faith. Nope. May I come closer to the meteor? I wish to pray even closer to Akbar. I have so much to say to him. Oh, didn't you know? Master Eserbius has activated the security system. Only he and the high priests hmm. can get into the meteor room now. Apparently, a guardian has been sent by the Norden to destroy our beloved statue. You don't say. <laughs> what terrible news. Hmm. Akba, protect us. Indeed. So, um, if you're expendable, I will simply 
murder you. A bottle of blood. This is new. Now, what is this? Oh, are you are you evil? Oh god! I'm just gonna check. He's evil. Okay, so sir, why you do this? I'm gonna ruin my sword, Arn. Get firebolt! Yeah! Now, I'm pretty sure... Oh, God. oh, he doesn't really hurt. Oh, he did get hurt. Because I'm wondering if a bladed weapon would ever actually hurt the stone golem, but it, apparently it does. Ah! Take it. Get fireballed. Yeah. Wait, did he did he die? He died. Yeah. Do you have your heart? You do have a heart. Okay, he did a lot of damage and he nearly broke our shield. So the sword is nearly dead. Ah, oh, no, the shield is half. It's still at halfway. Okay. So let's refill our... Our spells. So one fireball. Two fireball. Three fireball. So yeah, I think it, it was, must have been... Because of the room I was in previously, I couldn't cast any spells. Or I couldn't get the, the runes right. <gasps> oh god. Gimme. Wait, I already have calm. Oh, I already have these. Oh, I'm sad. Let me just check. So, calm. I have it. And Cossum. Oh. What happens if I consume them? No, maybe I can... Maybe I can sell them. Let's see. Yeah, so consuming them does nothing. So I'm just gonna try and sell them when I can. <clears throat> I wonder if there's also a golem on this room. So far so good. You who dare to disturb my rest and want to get your filthy hands on my treasure, I curse you to your very death. Uh-huh. The question is, are these things trapped? Oh, bitch. Oh, oh. Where are you? Is this a lich? Oh, God. Yo. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What are you doing? Ooh. Get fireballed! Wait, what? 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 Oh! No! No! No, no, no! Oh, wait, that, oh! Wait, I'm alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Yeah, he's a lich! Oh god, I'm... I'm slowed. Yeah. Bitch, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. Let's heal up. Oh my god, let me also... Oh my god, cure poison. Wait, what? What happened? Oh god, I'm so slow. Dude, he's very tough. He's extremely tough. Oh god, he went invisible. Oh god, and I lost my my weapons. And, oh, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Let's try this. 
Take it. Oh. <gasps> yes. I am undefeated. Woohoo! Well, I did lose my weapon though. <laughs> Hammer, you have served me well. Dude, this bitch, man. 400 gold coins, a dispel field, a cursed ring of misery, screw that. Another Aqua's rock. Ooh, the day he came. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Man, I broke my sword. I really didn't want to break my sword. And there's nothing else. You bitch. You goddamn bitch. Well, I guess I killed him with magic, so... Let's, let's... Oops, not this button. Let's charge up our magic. Okay. I gotta learn how to... How to use my spells properly, because this was... Um, shameful. To say the least. But yeah, I stole the Lich's treasures. I may regret this quick save, but let's see. Okay, so what what did this guy have? The day he came. These facts are related by Lord Long, creator and high priest of the Dark Order in the year nine, uh, 199. When he came, I was a brilliant ambassador serving the Kingdom of Arcs. At that time, we still lived on the surface where the sun shone with all its might. On the 37th day of the year 216, I was in the observatory where, when there was a solar eclipse and I saw a meteorite falling from the sky, heading towards our region. When it hit the ground, there was a terrible earthquake. I immediately thought it was the end of the world, but as things calmed down, I went to see the point of impact. The moment my fingers touched this extraterrestrial rock, a vision struck me and knocked me unconscious. While I was laying unconscious, something began to speak to me. The voice explained to me that it was here to save our world and that it would show me the path to enlightenment. I felt enormous hands seize me and I heard, and I heard murmurs addressed me in a deep and guttural voice. Then I saw many images, from the beginning of time to the present. I learned his name, the name of my god, Akba, undisputed Lord of Arcs. At that moment, I knew that my mission in life was to help Akba find followers who believed in his power. The more followers I could find, the greater the power of my god would be. He would then be able to reincarnate himself on Arcs and make me master of the world. So I built a temple in his honor in the underground tunnels not far from our town to honor him and spread the word of his religion. I also had to make the cult meteorite the focus of all our energies. The only way to satisfy my god was to sacrifice thing, uh? ah, thinking th uh, beings to him. The adoration and love I bore him were rewarded with numerous powers and with knowledge of magic spells, making me much more powerful than a mere human. Power which struck fear into hundreds of non-believers. And yet, you lay dead at my feet, bitch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing in the middle of the rock, dude? I'm gonna kill you soon. Just wait. So, no magic permitted beyond this point. <clears throat> Wonderful. However, I have still not deactivated, I don't think, the security system. Or maybe I have. Uh, I mean, has this been deactivated? It feels deactivated, but is it? Oh. Ah, 
I'm I'm starting to doubt this is the actual intended way of doing this, but let's see. No, I, I guess no. I guess no. Okay. So let's see what our friendly blind priest has to say. Um tar okay. Screw you. A bracelet. So, let, not, not caps lock. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay, so I have to decipher the security system bit because I haven't fully understood what the hell I'm supposed to do. So there are two golems hearts, but can I use it on one of these golems? No. Okay, let, 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 let's see, let's see. I can no longer interact. Jesus, this guy scared me, man. I can no longer interact with this golem. And this room is open. Okay. The lever has been pulled. Right. And over here, I have placed the combination. And the combination is correct. It's 113. There's a hidden door, but... The lever apparently doesn't do anything. And I still haven't found a use for this particular metal key. It doesn't work here. Does your bracelet open the door? No. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try the stupidest solution. That's not possible. <clears throat> okay, that's not possible. So I definitely need a key. Enter this room. Let me check something here. So, Patrizio. I have killed Patrizio. I have killed Glavasias. And I have killed Pasqual. The first locks the second. Okay, so in the dormitories. Is there any room I haven't actually been able to access yet? Locked. This is locked. Let's see. I see. Telekinesis and Stregum. I don't have Stregum. Do I? No. Lovely. What have I learned? Ooh. Increases strength, accuracy, constitution and intelligence. This seems useful. Oh, what's this? Enchant object. Gives magic properties to an object in front of the spellcaster, depending on the reactive substances that are near the object. Huh. Okay. I want bless. How do I even cast this? Stregum. Stregum. Okay, so. Mega. 
No. Ah, okay. So like this, like the like. No. Please don't do this again, man. Okay. Lovely! So I am now an intelligent human being. Oof. Oh god, it, it, this, this, Jesus. Okay, this raises the stats by a lot. Like, a lot, lot. Okay. So, but, okay, I have a scroll for telekinesis, but I don't even know what telekinesis does yet. Wait, it's over already? Oh, it sucks then. Is there something else I may be missing here? No. This has all been expl- oh. Wait, let's actually... Do this. <clears throat> and this. Okay. Okay. The first locks the second. <sighs> I have a key. That has unlocked a chest for a scroll of telekinesis <clears throat> and a rune. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Hmm. I mean... I think I've cleared every single room. So... So wait, this is the security system, I cannot go in here. I have cleared this area, I have cleared this area. And I have come from over here. How does telekinesis help me? I cannot open the door. Even though I'm gonna try again with the entire key ring this time. Okay, nope, doesn't work. Are, are these levers timed by chance? Per chance. And it's also the... I'm also curious about the, the first locks the second. Okay, let, let, let's find out what telekinesis does. Okay, so... Three. So I guess I can interact with objects from afar. Well, this did... Nothing. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Is there an object I can interact with over that uh, pit area? So in the meteor room. I'm guessing this needs to come over 
to form a bridge. Yeah, I, I just haven't figured out how yet. Security system. I'm just gonna double check if there's anything that was left behind. I mean, there was that one priest that went invisible, and I'm not sure if that's the one I actually eventually killed or not. But I don't think so. This is weird. But okay. <clears throat> and this is also weird. And this is the way back. Okay. Is there a hidden button here? No. The first locks the second. Uh. This heart is one of the keys to the security system. I don't actually think it means that, that, that I need two hearts for the security system. I think it just means that one of the hearts was necessary. Oh, you turn. Can I use a bracelet on you? No. No. I, I, I think it just means it's part of the riddle. Now, I do not understand what the first locks to second mean. Wait, what is this? I think it was just a button, right? There's gotta be something here. I don't know what. <gasps> oh, are you kidding me, man? First of all, this is trapped. And I do not know how to um, disable traps, which is gonna be troublesome. So I guess I'm just gonna take damage. Let's see, quick save. Well. What did that do? What do you do? Oh God. This definitely does something, but... <sighs> the first locks the second.
Keep on taking damage. If I'm missing something for the combination, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, so all levers are turned. Oh, you son of a bitch. The first door locks the second. Finally cracked the code. Let's see what's on the other side of this meat bridge. Blood and gore. Lovely. I know who oh. you are and why you're here. Orbaplanix must have had time to contact him. I should have seen to him sooner. A guardian. Your presence here is of great encouragement to us. This proves we finally have the power to bring Akba to life here, and that he is more powerful than ever. Oh God. As for the two of us, my sweet, we shall continue this ceremony later. Inra Nika Da Oh, not good. Oh, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I have fought one of these before. It's not a, not a nice experience. Go away from me, you bitch. Mm. Fireball! Yes! Oh, God. Oh, God. Take the fire. Yes. Ow. Drink him on a potion. More fire. Ow. Leave me alone. Mm. Take it. Double damage. Yes. Yes. Come on. You can do it, Amshagar. Come on, man. I cracked the code of the two doors. I can defeat the demon from hell. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Drink up, my friend. Is he dead? He's not dead. Not dead. Not dead. Okay, okay. Oh, you bitch. Oh, he blocked. Come on, man. I've killed one of you guys before. You shall not defeat me. Just gotta be patient. Just gotta be patient. Yes. Yes. Stranger, I don't know who you are, but you've made a friend today. Whoa! Akba will have to look elsewhere for his meal. I won't forget this. I promise. Who are you, lady? Map updated.
Um. What? What was updated? Alia. Is this the person we just saved? So Gary, Miguel, Tafiok, Maria. Yeah, it, it should be this one. Alia. Okay, let's quick save. It only took me, yeah, a couple of healing potions, but since we can craft more, it's not much of a big deal. What? Ooh. Ooh, what this? <clears throat> Security system. Emergency exit. Also, maybe this takes me to the exit. Now, this hidden door thingy. Okay. Oh, come on. I. Shh. Nobody saw anything. I still have my sword. La la la. I'll be there very soon. What's over here? Ooh. Oh, I know where this is. I know where this is. This is the goddamn button that didn't... Game. That didn't work before. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, I'm situated. Good. What? Okay, 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 okay. So, let's try and see if I can interact with this. Break it. I don't believe it. Is it too powerful for me? That's not good. The meteor withstood my attack. It is stronger than expected. I must ask Felnor about this and explain to him what happened. Ooh. Okay. But first... Um... First, I'm gonna try something. I'm out of mana, by the way. But I want... To store some incinerates. So like this, like this, and like this. Okay. This one is very easy to do. Thank God. Okay, so now hopefully this will open up that passage. Um... What? What? So this simply shows me some some stairs. What? Emergency exit security system. What? And what about this thing? Uh, I'm very confused. This looks like the entrance to this cult lair. Okay, so I know there's a way out over there. I'm just gonna check if that emergency exit thing did something. I don't believe it did, but still. This makes me curious. And I also need to find Alia. Which is in the fifth level, I believe. Why is this closed? Okay. Wait, every single door got closed. Security. Oh, wait. Did this open this thing? God damn it, it did not. Now, 
Come on, man. Is there like a hidden button that I'm not seeing? That probably is. That probably is. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back. Yeah, every single door got closed. Weird. Let's go back to the tavern and see if something else has changed. <sighs> no, wait, wait. The yeah, because this looks like the security... Is it just like a, a camera system? Well, I mean, I guess it is. Or did the other guy is... Have mercy, master. He threatened me. Mercy! Come, come, Urzag. You know full well that we must all do our bit for the cause with what feeble powers each of us possesses. But take comfort. Your modest sacrifice shall not be in vain. He escaped. Oh, God. What? What? Okay, no, never mind. So I'm guessing the emergency exit, he, like he teleported over here and he escaped into arcs. Well, at least the pub is as it has always been. Come back and see me. Okay, so nothing else has changed here. Oh, you bitch! Come here! Come here! <clears throat> you... Little bitchy, man. So yeah, we're being followed by assassins. Not very good ones, apparently, but... Still. There's actually something I just remembered. Mm, that I could use telekinesis for. There's that rune in the Goblin Kingdom that was on top of like um, little bridges that I couldn't actually get to, but telekinesis should allow me to get the runes. I'm gonna have to try that. Okay. I'm gonna go back to Arcs. And when I get there, I think we'll end the episode in the city. And speak to Felnor and find Alia and go get that rune. There's a lot of stuff we have to do in the next episode. So, almost there. Okay. Uh, And we're back at Arcs. Right, so I'm gonna save the game here. And I'm going to continue the game in another episode. So this one will end here. We have a lot of stuff to do on the next episode. So as always, thank you very, uh, very much for watching everyone. If you have any comments, um, or thoughts on the game, leave a comment. If you guys want to get updated on future uh, uploads to the channel, feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.